is a Mac R tractor and a JNL pneumatic dry bulk tanker. It's made by Diecast Permissions and it's in 164 scale. Now Diecast Permissions pretty much makes the nicest trucks you can get in 164 scale. They do a really good job with the finer details. It's gener generally to me it's above and beyond what I would expect for 164 scale and it's really nice. They also make a, a pretty incredible variety of combinations of trucks and tractor or tractors and trailers and so if you don't see what you want it's pretty affordable to mix and match and get what you want you know out of a die cast formations truck which is pretty cool now taking a look at the trailer it's a really nice trailer it's got a good way to it uh, die cast formations just does such a good job uh, just really packing in the details and just making quality stuff and it's it's a little bit expensive for what you get but to be honest it's kind of worth it for for what you're what you're actually getting here the all the hose detailing is really nice the 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 uh, the decals like the JNL uh, right there and all the warning labels it all looks really good underneath looks pretty good you do have the screw type landing gear so whatever whatever you want your uh, your neck height to be, it's going to stay that way forever, which is really pretty cool. The wheels are nice. The back of the trailer looks pretty good. Yeah, again, you got the little teeny tiny warning labels there. It really does look good. It's a good looking trailer, and all the die cast formation stuff is really good, really nice. You got your your anti uh, slip, whatever you want to call it up there, which is really nice. It's just a good looking trailer, it really is. Now, as far as the tractor, the tractor is just fantastic. I really wish they would make the some Mac R's in 150th scale. That would just be phenomenal. But it's kind of interesting to see an older tractor with what's obviously a pretty late model trailer, if not brand spanking new. Uh, it's nice to nice to see that. It's it's interesting combination to have the these mac r's were just good tough simple trucks they really were and they're truly multi-purpose i guess you could you could get an affordable tractor and put it to work doing anything and it, it's gonna it's gonna make you money um uh, it's not the most comfortable truck to ride in. It's not the most refined. You don't have all the, the doodads and, you know, buttons and switches in there. But it's a good, simple truck. Uh, now, Diecast Formations the, did a pretty good job. I love the paint scheme. That's just classy. It's cool and classy. The, the little minor details are really pretty good. The cab doesn't open up. But it looks pretty good inside there. Uh... You got your battery box here and fuel tanks. You got your air tanks down here. You got twin stacks, which is cool. The hood does open up. And I think that's a Maxidine motor, like one of the Mac, uh, Maxidine motors. I really can't tell. I'm not sure. I'm not terribly familiar with uh, truck stuff anyway. I don't know as much about trucks as I do other things, but I think that's a Maxidine. You do have a hydraulic tank over here, which is pretty cool. So you know that the truck's got a wet line. Uh, you can see the motor, the transmission, the drive line, all that good stuff. The underneath looks pretty good with the axles. It's really just a good looking truck. Uh, for 164 scale, it's really nice. There's no steering or anything like that, but you know it's that's normal for 164 scale this really is just a good looking uh good looking set and like i said it's kind of unusual to have such an older truck with a brand new trailer but you do have that i mean yeah you know, some of the guys that haul dry bulk you know you make money running whatever with whatever you got and if you start out with something like this it ain't going to take long if you uh if you know what you're doing it ain't going to take long before you get the you know get a little money saved up and get you something a little bit better um so anyway that's about all i got for this if you have any questions or comments feel free to ask if there's anything you'd like to see let me know i might just have it and um if there if you'd like to see more of what we have please subscribe to maryland construction diecast 
I got so many trucks and trailers and tractors and just excavators and bulldozers and dump trucks swirled away. I got so much stuff. I got probably a couple hundred more videos to make. Anyway, thanks for watching.